Hey guys, today we are going to talk about something on Amazon. Normally Amazon Prime, I'm a big fan. I, of course, order a lot of my items on Amazon. But it is a terrible place for Magic the Gathering. Uh, I see these bulk things that promise you, you know, 15 mythics or 15 rares or, you know, 1500 bulk. And it's always sorted to oblivion. So now I'm going to talk about a sealed product, and it is the Domanian pre-release pack. Now pre-release packs are very suspect to being resealed, uh, mainly because it is easy to figure out what the promo is and then wrap everything out. The promo is ridiculously easy because it is in a clear uh, wrapper. Now when we talk about what does this actually mean in terms of value? Here in this particular set, you have a Karn Scion of Urza worth $50, $60 non foil. The promo's got to be worth at least 100 or 120 Yes, it does matter, especially with legendary promos. This product is not a bad product, but I would advise you to buy from your local game store, especially one that would want its reputation uh, to be stellar among the community. But I would not recommend for you to buy a pre-release kit online just because of the danger. Uh, even when you buy from Amazon Prime, it sells from certain people who ship it, but it's not even the same person. It's so if you bought one and it came really good and then you were happy and you decide to buy another one, the shipping could be done by someone else because supposedly this product is fungible, which means that it shouldn't matter who's selling it. It's a sealed new product. So here we have resealed pack. I think they opened to fist for promo, sealed up the ones with lackluster promos. It didn't have a spin down counter and shoddy shrink wrap job. job. So it is very easy to reseal this type of merchandise because it's not it's really meant for a pre-release and it's not meant for people to buy later on. However, it is a good value. Um, the reason that it is a good value in this set, there's many legendaries and foil legendaries are amazing for ED com EDH as commanders and the multiplier on some of these cards are insane. So yes, I know it's a promo foil, but eventually the promo foil it's probably 80, 70, 80% of what the normal foil would be. There's also Mox Amber as a foil. So overall, you're looking at uh, quite a bit of value. And this person is just having a field day. They're selling them and they're opening them. It's a great time for this person or store. Now, I would advise you, if you're interested in this product, which you should be, in this particular pre-release product. Now, I'm not going to recommend you to go out buy, buy Aldrich Moon. I'm not going to recommend you to buy other stuff that other channels may recommend you to buy. I like this set because there's so many leg legendaries. The chance of hitting a foil legendary is very high. Now, here, here we have David saying the pack was open, resealed, poorly, I might. Uh, the pack was open and resealed, poorly, I might add. It only has six booster packs, no D20, no promos. Save your money, buy a fat pack. So one of the questions you might have is who's actually buying this stuff from Amazon? And it's super casual players. It's casual players who have never been to a local game store. There is, according to Wizards of the Coast, 99% of the marketplace has never gone to a GP. And they just play at home. So they, they buy a Walmart, they buy an Amazon. So that, those are the main distribution points that make Wizards of the Coast money is actually not your local game store. And we are seeing a trend away from specialty products, although we did have the now spiked, now price inflated uh, spell books, right? Jace's spell book, which is $19.99 MSRP, has now become $50 or $60. That's what happens when you give it to a local game store. Uh, Walmart's not going to care because they sell so much everything else. I don't even think anyone knows what the price is because sometimes they just put stickers, like 20% off stickers on random stuff. So who's buying off Amazon? Amazon, you're, you are, you're buying, you're getting people like John who is, who knows that he's been ripped off, but he's saying that he can't complain because he got a Teffy and a J Yard. 
that's the type of people who are buying this product that they're like, oh, well, they stole my promo, but it's okay because I pulled good. Uh, one star resealed package didn't include promo card. Disappointing. Resealed boxes definitely a resealed pack. Plastic wrapping did not have any Wizards of the Coast emblem on it, and was a poor job at that. For this price, I should have just bought a bundle, got almost double the packs, and saved like five dollars. So they are absolutely right. What people are doing is they're selling this product to casual players, and at the end of the day, these casual players are, I mean, they don't really know, uh, and they don't know the, they get a little, they're so casual that if they pull something good, they ignore the fact that they've been ripped off. That's how casual they are. Anyway, I just wanted to make a quick video showing you how the scam works. Uh, it's very simple. You go on Amazon, make a business account, and then sell these things, and then pick out the promos. And apparently, they actually did not even put the promos back. Hi, guys.